grade 12s i hope you're having a very great day today um metric students welcome back um, into today's lesson video so today we're going to be looking at um, um uh, chemistry okay yes physical sciences chemistry um we're going to be fundamental or specifically looking at uh the molecular formula okay of of compounds of specific compounds um, the structural formula and the condensed structural formula okay yes of different um, compounds or of different organic compounds so yes um, if you haven't subscribed to the t channel um, please subscribe and if you have subscribed to the channel thank you so much um, and again if ever you're returning to the channel and you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel just click the red subscribe button so the community can grow okay let's get into today's lesson video okay so um ladies and gents um so i'm going to be giving um examples of organic compounds as i said so we're going to choose from each and every homocal series only one compound and therefore we represent that particular compound its molecular formula the structural formula as well as condensed structural formula so for for instance or for example we're going to um write down alkanes we're going to start from alkanes and um I till up um to um carboxylic acids so um yeah so we're going to start our alkanes we're going to choose any kind of compound and the alkanes represent its molecular formula structural formula so I call this structural thing. Okay, so let's um, say we have these alkanes. Okay, so let's go to alkanes. Okay, we have alkanes. So on the alkanes, we have butanes. Let's choose butane, for example. Okay. Okay. We choose butane. What we are what I required to do right now is to draw a structure for a molecular formula for butane, structural formula for butane, and condensed structure for butane. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, let's start with. Um, okay. So before writing down or representing these um, or representing this uh, specific compound, one of the vital stuff, guys, is to understand the general formula because in order for you. Um, to be to be effective when it comes to this, you have to be able to write down or represent that specific compound um, in order for you to represent the molecular for structural formula or right, the structural formula. You have to understand the general formula or to know the general formula for each and every compound, okay, or for each and every normal constant. So yeah, okay. So. The general formula for for alkanes, you know that it's C, it's C N H two N plus two. Okay, so let's write down the molecular formula for butane. It's you know that's but means four. Okay, but means four. So we have four C atoms H to multiply by four. It's eight plus two. It's ten. So this is the molecular formula for for butane okay so let's jump to structure for formula for butane again guys so one of the important things on advice from me in order for you to write down the structural formula you have to first represent that specific compound its molecular formula so that you can see how many c atoms we have and how many h atoms we have so that you can bond effectively okay so um we have four c atoms so right now we're right we're drawing the the Structural formula for butane. Okay, so four C's. So one. So sorry, I don't know why my pen is um, it's not um, right. It's not okay because just boy. Okay, you have four C atoms. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this have three atoms, eight atoms, hydrogen atoms. So I have two hydrogen atoms. This C, you have two hydrogen atoms. We have 
3 I get three nine times and that's your your butane represented in terms of structural formula so let's calculate how many atoms it's four one two three four how many each atoms ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so we're done with the structural formula for butane so let's move to the condensed structural formula right now okay so for condensed structural formula we're going to have um, okay so again guys an advice so as you can see this goes with the line so structural formula for in order for you to represent the condensed structural formula for that specific compound you have to first draw for me it's an advice okay you can just draw it without even looking for my structural formula but it's an advice for me so i can be effective and fluent so you can see how many c atoms are bonding with the very first c how many c atoms are bonding with the second one um blah blah, blah etc so in order for you to draw or write down the condensed of our specific compound, we have to first look at its structural formula or write down its structural formula. Okay, you understand? Okay, so the condensed structural formula of butane is going to be C. Our first C, how many H atoms are bonding there? Three H atoms. Three H atoms. C, we have two H atoms that are bonding there. C, we have uh, two atoms bonding there. Two H atoms. So the last one has three atoms putting the CH atoms. Okay, so this is the condensed structural formula for for butane. Okay, let's jump to alkenes. Okay, yes. So alkenes, you know that these are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Okay. Alkenes. Alkenes. Okay. Unsaturated hydro hydrocarbons. Okay. So in terms of alkenes, again, um, knowing um, the general formula of this specific chemical series, it's vital, very important. So what's the general formula of alkenes? You know, it's C and H two N. Okay, it ends there. So this general formula. So let's choose any compound. Um, let's say um, two hexene. Two. Hexene. Two hexene. Okay, yes. So two hexene, or let's say hexene. Okay. You know that this two stands for, you know, that as, as already I told you or reminded you that alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons, meaning that they have more than two bond. Okay, yes okay so they have more than one bond so sorry meaning that they have two bonds okay yes so the two bonds in alkenes okay in this alkene um compound which is exine meaning that it's on the second c atom that double bond okay yes that double bond it's on the um second c atom okay so hence you know that it means six so i have six c, c atoms Yes, so let's write it down. So, so the, the, the molecular formula of a 2 alkene is going to be C, H, C, uh, 6, okay? C, 6, H, 2 times 6, it's 12. So this is our, this is our um, 2 hexene molecular formula so let's jump to structural formula of this two hexene um we're going to have okay so this is what we're going to see that double bond right now okay that is bonding on the second c atom one ish one two okay our second c atom have a double bond Okay, as you can see, two hexene, one, two. Okay, yes. So, um, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have C6. We must have 12 H atoms right now. So, this C, we have H, is going to be H here. We have H here. We have hydrogen here. Okay, so we have. H here, single H here, we have another single H here, we have H here, we have H here, 
and Asia, and mind you, our hydrogen atoms must be must be um, twelve. Must have twelve hydrogen atoms. Okay, let's calculate right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Done. Okay, something that I should explain to you. Maybe some of you said, why did you um, you did not bond these atoms or with two hydrogen atoms just like others that are in between it's because as you can see these two c atoms have double bond between them so you must only bond with they are left with only one bond to bond with with the other h okay yes something that this bond that's supposed to be is taken to be here this bond is supposed to be here is taken to be to be here as you can see i think i tried to explain effectively yes so let's move to its um, condensed structural formula so the condensed structural formula now that you should look to its structural formula so we're going to have c c h 3 okay c h c h c h 2 c h 2 c h 3 and this is the condensed structural formula of this to hexene okay let's jump right now to our kind jump to all kinds all kinds okay so what's the general form of all kinds it's c n h 2 n minus 2 okay so which compound are we going to choose that is on our kinds um we're going to choose one pentyl for example let's say one pentyl one pent one pentyl hope you can see um yes let's choose one pentyl okay we're going to choose one pentyl okay so you know that okay so again alkynes these are um uh, this this is homo the homologous series or uh, these are hydrocarbons i can say that are said to be as also unsaturated um hydrocarbons because they have a triple bond between that one c atom okay yes or any c atom so meaning that they have triple bond they have more than one bond just like alkenes but alkenes are the double bond so alkanes have single bond meaning that they are only the saturated hydrocarbons okay just to remind you remind you okay guys um again just before uh, uh, i'm going to represent here let me remind you of something or um give you an, an advice okay so maybe some of you but it's easy guys as you can see it's very straightforward i'm trying to explain like um trying to be very effective mean that i'm not rushing etc i'm trying to explain each and every area that i'm running through i'm going through it so what i want to say to you is that there are some videos okay of the introduction whereby i introduce you to each and every homogas series the general formula the functional group um how do you draw the structural formulas how everything guys so you can just revisit those lesson videos on this channel okay yes i think i did that um at the end of last year yes so you can just re revisit them in this in, in my channel and please don't forget to subscribe okay yes okay so um uh, one pentyl so this means five something that that one stands for the that triple bond must be on the very first c atom okay so we're going to have c so sorry Going to have C five H to multiply by N so minus two so to multiply by five minus two so it's eight okay two multiply by five is ten minus two it's eight so eight okay uh, so this is this is the molecular formula for, for one pentagon now let's move to the structure of formula for pentai so we're going to have um one two three 
four, five carbon atoms. Okay, as you can see, how many do you see atoms? Okay, right now, for what something, must have triple bond here. Must have a triple bond on the very first atom. Okay, one, two, three. Meaning that we're going to have now eight C atoms. And that basically means that we are not okay we're only going to have maybe one c atom here that is going to bond here because all of the bonds that are supposed to be here are taken one two three no h must bond here because of one two three are taken we have only one here okay so we're going to have one two three four five six seven eight okay that's how it goes so this one's going to going to bond with only one h atom this one one a two h atoms and yes three h atoms that's how it goes yes okay so that's how it goes this is a structural form for one pentagon so we have one many c atoms five c atoms one two three four five how many h atoms eight one two three four five six seven eight so let's draw its condensed structural formula so it's conventional kind of form is going to be um C of C so sorry of C um so that C is not um not bonding with any kind of age so we're going to have another C with only one age here of C bonding with two H atoms C with two H atoms C with 3H atom. So this becomes the condensed structural formula for one pentyl. I hope you get it, no? It's like that, guys. Okay, so let's just move to how arcanes. Okay. Let's move to how arcanes. Okay. So how how arcanes. Let me just put it up there so that everyone can see. Move to hollow arcades. Hollow arcades. Hollow arcades, which are also known as halogens. Hollow arcades. Okay, so hollow arcades. Um, okay, so the general formula for hollow arcades is C N H two N plus one of those H's. Um, with the with the halogen. Okay, that extends for any kind of halogen. Can be bromine, zinc, ion, chlorine, and and and. Okay, yes. So, um, okay. Let me check something. Okay, it's still coming. Okay, so um, let's choose any compound that's under our arcanes or any halogen. Or let's say two bromo pentane, okay? Let's say two bromo, two bromo pentane, pentane, two bromo pentane, okay? No, so right now, let's draw or let's write down the molecular formula for two bromo pentane using our drug form. Are we looking at our drug formula? So you know that it's going to be C. Um, so pent means five, okay? So five C five H um, eleven eleven plus plus a width or say width a halogen which is bromine, okay? Yes, which is bromine. Um, HBr, okay? Say Br Br. So this is all. This is our um, molecular formula for two more bromo pentane. Uh -huh. Let's draw the structural formula. So mind you, that two stands for for the position of that Br. Okay, meaning that it's on the second C atom on our representation, either from left or right. Okay. So let's try it. Just draw the, the structural formula. So our structural formula will be many C's for five C's. One, two, three, four, 
five, okay? And so on the second, okay. So we're going to have H H H, okay? We're going to have H H H and two second. Let's draw B R maybe here or there. Um, let's say here. So we have our B R B R um, H. H, 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 how many hydrogen atoms are supposed to have there? We are supposed to have 11 each atom. So let's calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's how it goes. So let's try the connect structural formula. Um, C, it's going to be C. So sorry. C, H3. Um, C. Um, H B R okay, the allergen um, um, C H two C H two C H three okay, yes, one, two, three, four, five. And that's how it goes. So that's the condensation formula for that. Hello, arcade, okay, yes. So right now. Let's move to the next following um, homologous series, which is going to be alcohols, okay? Don't know if I should write alcohol that, that side. Okay, let's move to that side. Let's just draw a line here. Um, just draw a line from there, from up there. Okay, let's just do like this. Let's just do like this. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, perfect. Okay, everything is okay. Let's move to um, alcohols, right? Let's move to alcohols. Alcohols. Alcohols, okay? Um, Speed of alcohols. Give it's let me give you um it's a formula C N H two N okay um with plus one okay plus one O H okay yes plus one O H okay that's a general formula for alcohols okay so let's give any an, an example of organic compound that is under alcohols it's um let's say blah 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 let's say it's um heptanol okay heptanol let's say hepta heptanol okay yes um let's say heptanol let's say it's um in terms of the bonding of that OH bond let's say it's on the very first one it's a normal heptanol or a heptanol can be also said as hepton oh Hepton, hepton, one all. Okay, so that's O L. Okay, hepton one all. Okay, yes. I hope you can see. Everyone can see. Yes, everyone can see. Okay, so let's draw or let's write down the molecular formula. So the molecular, the molecular formula will be. C okay of that heptanol C um, seven no hept means seven C seven H to multiply by seven fourteen plus one fifteen so fifteen O H okay so this is the molecular formula of of heptanol okay so um, after heptanol let's jump to the structural formula so a structural formula is going to be it's going to be like this let's try it this way so how many c atoms we have we have seven c atoms okay one okay i'm going to try it here one sorry one two three four five six i uh, say seven here Okay, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have seven. 
Okay, our OH band is burning on the last, which means on the first, okay, we can also say that on the outside Seattle. So we're going to bond there, um, there, okay. So, um, how many H atoms? 15, okay. Okay, that's first one, second one, and one, four one, okay. Um, two hydrogen atoms, okay. So let's say it goes, so it goes, so it goes, so it goes, so it goes. So we're going to have OH here. Okay, hope you can see. Everyone can see. So that is OH. This is H OH bond. Okay, OH. So sorry. Or oh, let me just yes. So this is OH. Oh, oh, everyone can see, guys. So this is OH, the OH bond. We didn't have space there, you know, space. So how many H atoms we have? We have 15 H atoms plus the H atom there, okay? Let's calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, plus that OH, plus this OH, as you can see, OH. Hope everyone can see. Let's move to our uh, condensed structural formula. I have seven C atoms. Um, mm. Uh, CH3, CH2, 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 C, H2OH, okay, C, H3OH, let's say CH3O, CH3O, yes, you can also write it like that. Okay, but I don't have space here. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay, so I have um, C. Okay, C. C H two O H. Oh, I hope everyone can see. Okay, let's see if everyone can see. C H um, O H. Okay, I hope everyone can see, guys. I don't know if everyone can see. Okay, yes, so that's how it goes. So this is our heptangle. Let's move to um, ketones right now. Ketones. Ketones. Let's move to ketones. So what's the general formula for ketones? It's C and H two and you know where that and that oxygen bond. Okay. Okay. Yes. So and mind you, in ketones, okay, in ketones that O bond because ketones and aldehydes, uh, I can say they have uh, very same functional group that O bond. Okay. But in in terms of uh, in ketones in this um, in this homologous series, that O bond is inside C atoms or is inside the C atoms of, 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 of that specific car or of that specific um, compound but in aldehydes which are going, which we are going to discuss just after these ketones that O bond is outside but in ketones the O bond is inside the C atoms okay yes so let's make an example so in ketones we have octanon let's say octanon Octanol, octanol. So let's try it down now. So C8 oct means 8, you know, C8 H to one by 8 16. Oh, so this is the molecular formula for for octanol. Um, let's move to um, its structural formula. So of of this. Um, okay, so we have. Um, structural formula has how many C atoms? 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 8, okay, H, 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 um oxygen bond there h h h h and mind you as we don't have the other h bond here it's because that 
oxygen bond to those two bonds from that C. You know that C atom that is in between have only have, have to only bond with with two atoms. Okay, yes, because the other extra bond is being bonded with the following C. So we remain with with two bonds that are already taken by that old bond. Meaning that we can't write or take another bond for for the hydrogen downwards there from that C. Okay, yes. We just wanted to re-explain that to emphasize. So H H H H H. I hope you can see that in ket in ketones, um, the O bond is in between, as I showed you. So it's in between, as you can. So how many H atoms? So this because this also becomes one, one, two, three, four. So this becomes um, octan four on. Octan 4 on this also becomes octan 4 on or 4 octan on, or this becomes 4 octan on, or this becomes 4 octan on because it's bonded on the fourth C atom that O bond. Okay, I hope you get it, guys. It's very easy, straightforward. So let's move to all the eyes right now. Oh no, not to all that. So we have to draw um, or show the condensed structural form. So we have C H uh, three, C H two, C H two, C O, C H two, C H two, C H two, C H three. Okay, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how it goes. So this is the condensed structure formula of that octagon. Okay, yes. So um, let's move to all the heights right now. Sorry about that. Um, all the heights. All the heights. All the heights. So the structure formula is the same as the ketones. All the hides C and O. Okay, yes. So let's write down or uh, this which so which so this is general formula. So which compound we are going to choose under of the hide? So let's choose ethanol. It means two, you know. So ethanol means that we have two C atoms. So two C atoms for so so this is ethanol. Okay, yes, so that is ethanol. Um, so you can see that all the hydrogen ketones are very similar in terms of um, drawing their, their, their molecular formula, but in difference with structural formula. Okay, but we won't discuss about that. Um, yeah, those in terms of because when I'm speaking about that, I'm speaking about isomers, but we're going to have a lesson just after this one about isomers, um, tail end, etc. Um, we're going to learn more, guys, just uh, be cool. So, how many C atoms we have? So, let's draw the structural formula. So, we have two C atoms, let's draw the structural formula of one, two, okay, yes. And the OH point is outside. Okay. Um going to have one, two, three. Okay. The fourth one is going to be outside. Okay. And this is let's say this is our this is our this is our O point and this is our H as outside. So this is either now. So let's calculate how many C's one, two, two. Four H atoms, one, two, three, four. One O, you can see that bond O is bonded with the outside C. Or even if it was, let's say, heptanol. So seven atoms there, that O bond was going to be outside or on the last C atom, okay? Yes, hope you get it. So let's write down the condensed structural formula for this. Ethanol, so it's going to be C, so sorry about this, C, it's going to be C, H, three. C um, O H right C H O C O H okay C O H yes C O H it's like an alcohol right now 
like an orange wand but yeah that's how it goes um uh, yes so right now let's move to um let's move to let's move to um carboxylic acids so the last um the last um the last time of the series so carboxylic acids so carboxylic 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 acids carboxylic acids so speaking of carboxylic acids the jar from like CNH2N um 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 um, um, um H2N O2 right yes O2 so yeah that's how it goes so CNH2N O2 so which compound are going to look for and those cover acid acids is to get butanoic acid for example let's give an example of butanoic acid buta noic acid butanoic acids or butanoic acid so oh, sorry butanoic acid so butanoic acid um the general formula is going to be the, so sorry the molecular formula the molecular formula is going to be c for boot means for you know h8 o2 okay so this is the molecular formula for butanoic acid so this is the molecular formula um so let's look at um the structural formula right now so we have how many four c atoms one two three four okay and also the carbolic acids have the oh bond okay yes so meaning that the last oxygen bond as you can see the last oxygen bond is bonded with h with one of these ages here okay yes um so let's draw it so i have one well, we're supposed to have eight um hydrogen bonds two two so three four five six seven so one two have o okay we have the o bond okay yes and that o h bond you can just say like that yes so this is our butanic acid so this is our butanic acid so uh, yes so let's write down so be careful of this guys so this shows this is butanic acid okay okay we have two o atoms okay yes meaning that that o atoms have bonded have taken two bonds meaning that we left it only one bond to bond so the remaining was o and h as you can see we have two oxygen bonds so o is bonding with with the last age that's why i said on the last um we have oh bond okay yes that's why i have this here oh bond or carboxylic acid i think you understand it um let's move to to its um condensed structural formula okay so in terms of condensed structural formula we're going to have c c h3 c h2 c h2 c um o o h okay so this becomes our condensed structural formula for butanic acid okay yes can see c can see c pointing with three h's one two three so the, the second one one two and uh, third one one two um, the C is pointing with two oxygens, two oxygen atoms, and the last, which is the H atom. Um, that's it, guys, and that's I believe that's the end of our lesson video. I think I tried to be very, very slow and explaining um, without rushing, explaining effectively. Um, if you have any kind of a question or maybe you want to understand something better. Um, don't hesitate to send me an email and drop an email on the description of this video 
um yes so please also please don't forget to subscribe guys just hit that red subscribe button um see you in the next following video cheers